This video involves some Grim Reaper and Ghost Story type scary stuff. Watching with your best friend or a light on is advised. Thank you. Omens of Death Death is a mystery that has been solved in different ways by the religions, mythologies, and fantasies of every civilization. One of the ideas found in the most ancient stories and still believed by many today is that the moment when the fates cut the thread of a life can be foreseen. If the time of death can be known, then it follows that a death messenger may bring a warning. The washerwoman at the ford is called the Bean Nige in Gaelic. She is found in the lands of the Celts, crouching by a ford or pool washing the clothes of those whose death is close. If a passing mortal asks her politely, she will tell the names of the chosen. The Fetch The Fetch is a living ghost, the wraith-like image of a person who will die soon. It may be seen by relations or close friends or by the person themselves. In the dark of night, it appears only as a small flame known as a fetch light, and may be confused with other phantom lights. In Irish tradition, the fetch only foretells death if it appears at night. If a fetch is seen in the morning, it predicts a long life. The Banshee. Her name comes from Gaelic, Bin Sede, which means a woman of the fairies or a female spirit. Her wailing voice is heard when death is close. Each Banshee is attached to an Irish family or clan, and she only cries for one of her own. Traditionally, her keening is heard around the ancestral home, even if the one who is dying is far away, and the sound indicates the type of death, low and soft for a peaceful passing, and harsh and high for a violent end. It is also said that only aristocratic families have banshees, and that a person of lowly birth who hears a banshee's lament has nothing to fear. Doppelgangers. The name doppelganger means double goer in German and is more often translated as double walker or co walker. Like the fetch, it is an exact replica of a specific human being, and it is usually believed 
that to see one's own doppelganger is to receive warning that death is close. Certainly, the French writer Guy de Maupassant, 1850-1893, said that he saw his doppelganger towards the end of his life, and it is said that both Queen Elizabeth I, who lived from 1533 to 1603, and the English poet Percy Bysshe Shelley, who lived from 1792 to 1822, saw theirs shortly before their deaths. However, there are cases where either because of a wrinkle in time, or because some people are able to project images of themselves, a doppelganger has been seen by several people, but the person it represents has continued to live for many years. The Morrigan is the great queen of the Tuatha de Danann, the ancient Irish gods whose descendants are the little people. She is a shapeshifter. Sometimes she is a beautiful warrior goddess, and sometimes a wolf or a crow. On a battlefield, she is a shrieking ancient hag, leaping around the killing fields, choosing which soldiers will die. Several books contain information about messengers of death, including The Weird Stone of Brisingamon by Alan Garner, The Hounds of the Morrigan by Pat O'Shea, Halloween Pie by Michael O'Tunnell, Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban by J.K. Rowling, and Fantasy Encyclopedia by Judy Allen, with a foreword by Jonathan Stroud, which is an excellent book. Thank you so much for joining me here at Mystic Ashram today. It's been a pleasure, and as always, many, many blessings. Thank you.